The Legion Go is still one of the best handhelds on the market, but let's be real, Windows is definitely holding it back. Well, Windows in the battery life. That's why SteamOS has always been the secret sauce behind the Steam Deck's success. It's lightweight, it's fast, and it's built from the ground up for handheld gaming. Well, now Steam is officially letting us install SteamOS on other handhelds. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to install SteamOS on your Legion Go or any handheld. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to subscribe for more. Now, let's jump right into it. To get started, here's what you'll need. I'll have everything linked down in the description below. The first item is a USB-C dock or a hub. Basically anything that can take regular USB and turn it into a USB Type-C connection. Next is a USB drive with at least 8GB of storage and USB 3.0 or better. You also need a laptop or a PC to create your bootable image and of course your handheld. Now I'm doing this on the Legion Go but these steps work for other devices too. First up, we need to create a bootable drive. On your PC, go ahead and open your browser and head over to SteamOS installation page. I've linked it in the description below. Go ahead and click on SteamOS on other devices to get started. Once you're down there, you'll see some instructions on how to disable secure boot. Don't worry, we'll walk through this part in a little bit. Just scroll all the way down and click on SteamOS on your device. At the top of the next page, under reimage slash install SteamOS, you'll find two links. One for the SteamOS recovery image and one for Rufus, or Etcher if you're using a Mac or Linux. Go ahead and click on both and they'll open a new tabs. For the SteamOS image, click agree, then hit download. And for Rufus, go ahead and click continue to the external site, then scroll a little bit down under downloads, go ahead and download the standard version. Once everything is downloaded, go ahead and plug the USB drive into your PC and launch Rufus. Once it opens, make sure that the USB drive is selected on your device, then click on select and choose the SteamOS image file. I had it saved on my desktop, so just click on that. Once everything checks out, just go ahead and click start and let it run. Once it's ready, go ahead and click close and safely eject your USB. Next, we'll disable secure boot on your handheld. These steps vary by device, so I'll have some in the description below. Go ahead and power off the device completely. Once it's off, press and hold the volume up button, then tap the power button. Keep holding the volume button until you see a white screen. Go ahead and select BIOS setup, then go into more settings, and on the left, click on security, then scroll all the way down and you'll find secure boot. Go ahead and disable it. Then click exit, choose exit saving changes, and let it boot back into Windows. Now it's time to install SteamOS. Go ahead and plug your USB into the USB-C hub and connect it to your device. Go ahead and power off the device again. Then we're gonna boot into BIOS menu the same way we did before. So hold the volume up button, then press the power button. This time, instead of selecting BIOS setup, we're gonna click on boot menu. Then choose your USB drive. Once you boot into the installer, you'll see a few options at the top left of the desktop. Go ahead and click wipe device and install SteamOS. When the prompt appears, click proceed and let it run. While you wait, if you're enjoying the video, feel free to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It really makes my day knowing that I'm able to help out so many of you. We just hit 200 subscribers and I'm so grateful for all your support. It really means the world to me. Okay, now that the install is complete, you'll be prompted to restart. Go ahead and click proceed and let your handheld reboot. After restarting, you'll be at the SteamOS setup screen. At this point, go ahead and unplug your USB drive. Now you can go ahead and set your language, time zone, and connect to your Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it'll automatically restart and bring you to the login screen. You can go ahead and sign into your Steam account. And there you have it, you're now running SteamOS on your Lenovo Legion Go. Now, before we do anything else, head over to settings and check for updates. Make sure to install the latest updates available. Now that you have SteamOS installed on your device, you may notice that there aren't any native TDP controls for most handhelds out there. Luckily, we can fix that using Deki Loader and some third-party plugins. Go ahead and switch to desktop mode then open your browser and head to deki.xyz. I'll leave the link down in the description. Click on GitHub in the top right hand corner of your screen. 
Then go ahead and scroll down to installation and download the installer. Once it's downloaded, rename the file to deki underscore installer dot desktop and move it to your desktop. Go ahead and run it, then click on continue and let it set a temporary password for now. We'll change that later. Make sure to select release and then click OK. Once it's done, click on OK and then return to gaming mode. Once you're back to gaming mode, go ahead and open the quick settings, then scroll all the way down and if you've successfully installed Deki, you should see it all the way at the bottom of your quick settings. Now that Deki is installed, we need to install a plugin that will help us control our TDP. Go ahead and go back to desktop mode. Then open the link for the GitHub page for simple Deki TDP that link down in the description. Once you're there, scroll to the install section and copy the quick install command. Open the start menu and search for terminal. Once that's open, go ahead and paste the command using the left trigger, then hit A to run it. If it asks for a password, go to settings and under users, go ahead and create a password. Once you create a password, return to terminal and enter your password. Then go ahead and press enter or A. And that's it. Go ahead and head back to game mode. Then go ahead and open your quick settings and scroll all the way down to Deki. You should now be able to see simple Deki TDP and you can finally now tweak TDP settings however you like. And there you have it guys, a full Steam Deck like experience on a more powerful handheld with a larger screen. This has been a total game changer for me. It made handheld gaming feel more seamless and fun again. You can install most of your games and truly enjoy a console like experience without all the Windows headaches. If you'd like a tutorial on how to install EA, Epic, or other game launchers, drop a comment down below. As always, leave a like if this helped you and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.